What's going on guys? It's your boy Zedtim back with another video and in this video I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to downgrade GTA 4. This is a 2025 video so this is going to be updated for the whole entire year. Unless something changes like, like Jurassic obviously. Um, but if it doesn't change like that, this is going to remain updated and uh, this should fix all your guys' errors if you guys are having issues with um, the game not launching, black screens when loading, um, just everything. Anything that you guys are having an issue with, this is going to solve it all. First things first though, before we get started, alrighty guys, and if you guys are not already, make sure you guys go ahead and get in the Discord, okay? Um, as you guys can see, I mean it's full, and I just sit here and I'll help all you guys. Um, usually it's better if you guys actually just bring it to direct messages, obviously. Um, but, obviously if you guys can't do that or don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. You guys can just come in here and uh, message in general chat. Um, preferably I would like you guys to go make a ticket um and not just message in here there's actually a way to actually make a ticket and that's just doing slash ticket create and then the reason um i'll end up making a thing that comes up and you guys just click like it was in the other discord just so you guys can actually make tickets instead of um this just so the help isn't just i guess all over the discord it's kind of more centralized in one spot anyways yeah if you guys aren't in the discord make sure you guys go ahead and get in the discord it'll be in the description down below i'll leave a link you guys just click it it'll bring you right to it um and uh yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and make your way to the description and uh go ahead and go to the gta 4 downgrader now you guys should see something sort of like this i don't know why these ads keep popping up but yeah gta 4 downgrader just like this um now these are the requirements in order for this to work i have yet to actually go over why you guys actually need them or if you guys do need them um the net framework 4.8 go ahead and just get that and download it and install it if you already have it, it's going to tell you that, um, and you guys are good to just get rid of it, but make sure you guys actually download this because if you guys actually do not have this net framework, it will not actually work. It will not let the downgrader do something. I'm not really sure, but something doesn't work. Either the game doesn't work, it causes errors. Next thing you guys want to do is go ahead and click this link right here. And once you guys click the link, it's going to go ahead and open and close. And as you guys will see, it will make one. Now I already obviously have this to my desktop, so I'm not going to go there and show you, but yeah, you just open it up you know, end up like this. Now, if you guys have 7-zip, it's not going to look like WinRAR. If you guys have WinRAR, it's going to look like this. Then you guys want to go ahead and right-click, go ahead and extract. And you guys should have something sort of like this. Once you guys open this, you guys will have a set of files in here like so. Now, what I want to go over right now is this is what your GTA 4 should look like as of right now. Before you touch anything, this is what it should look like. If it does not, Make sure it does. So either, okay, so if it doesn't look like this, you guys can either just copy and delete everything in there and then go to Steam library and then right click manage and uh, I'm at properties, my fault, and go to installed uh, installed files and view verify integrity of game files. And just click that and it'll go ahead and start going through all the files. And if something's missing, it will go ahead and install that file and make sure it's there. So make sure you guys make sure you guys this folder looks exactly like this and then once it does then go ahead and right click on this go ahead and run as administrator blah 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 blah. more info run anyways yes okay cool now go ahead and close this you guys can minimize that for now because you guys really don't need that yet and uh yeah so once this comes up you guys want to go ahead and hit next now this is the most important or second most important part um, there's two ways you can do it you can either do the directory or you can do the executable file um, i like to do the directory it's just easier but um you guys can do either or so you go ahead and click browse now the quickest way to do this without struggle like trying to go through a bunch of folders is just open up the, the folder that you already had and uh, if you guys want to know how to get to this is uh you guys just right click go to steam library again right click manage and then browse local files it'll take you right to the gta 4 folder right here so yeah once you guys are there you guys just click right here and it'll bring up a whole link Control c to copy it and then you guys want to go ahead over here click here Control v and enter and then bam now you're in the directory and then you can just click right here it'll back you up one and then you guys hit gta 4. select folder and then valid directory if it does not say valid directory then you guys did not do something right Make sure you guys follow the follow that correctly. I'll show you again. So go ahead and go to browse. 
it's not gonna come up with this immediately. You guys will see like documents or whatever. And then um you guys wanna go ahead and uh in your case I already closed it, but you guys would copy up at the top, it'd look like that. You'd copy and then you'd paste it, press enter, and once you're into this main folder, you just click right here to back up and then click GTA4, select folder, done. Okay. Next, it's gonna say yes, blah blah blah, does not match the hash, whatever. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead and hit next. And then go ahead and do 1.070. Now, I do want to clarify something here, okay? If you guys are trying to go for EMBs, okay, and not LCPFR, then you guys need to go 1.040. That is what EMBs are great for and greater visuals. If you guys aren't going for LCPDFR, that's what I would recommend. Or you can go 10, uh, 1.0.80, and that actually be best for ASM, ASI mods and great performance. Um, and yeah, so... I obviously am doing LCPDFR. If you guys want to go ahead and do 1070 and go ahead and hit next. Right here is um so so if you guys want to do online, this is how you guys would do it. Now um this Discord, if you click right here, it'll actually take you to a Discord. They have instructions on how to do it. I have actually done it and it does work. Um I'm not gonna show that in this video, but it does work. But yes. Um in this video I'm not going to do it, like I said, but it does work. So if you guys want to have at it, but go ahead next. Radio downgrader by Schneed. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. But anyways, go ahead and do radio downgraded by Schneed. Next. And then go ahead and pick old. This doesn't really matter. You guys can do new music if you want. This is the most important part. So let me go ahead and just full screen this just so you guys can see. So if you guys are wanting the mod menu that I be using, you guys do want to select Z menu. Um, some people use a different one. That's totally fine. But I do Z menu, so this is personal preference. You want Zalika patch, X Live List, um, script hook. Um, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. I think, yeah. I'll put hold up. This right here, simple traffic loader. So this will get rid of the um the taxi bug. So usually when you install this mod, there's a chance that every vehicle turns into a taxi, and I've had it happen a few times. And then it pretty much means that you either have to reinstall the whole game, or you just have to do a bunch of other shit. So I go ahead and just install the simple traffic loader. Just have that solved from the start. Go ahead and hit next. Um, you guys can make a backup. I highly do recommend this. If uh, you guys don't think it's going to work or whatever, go ahead and make a backup just so you guys can revert to the old version and see what went wrong or whatever. Go ahead and hit downgrade. And then I'll go ahead and be right back once it's done. Alrighty, guys. So once you guys get to this screen where it actually says it's finished and it's all green, go ahead and hit next. Once you guys get the save file downgrading, go ahead and hit skip. Go ahead and hit this includes non-restricted restrictions. So what this pretty much means is there's no memory restrictions and then there's no restrictions in general. So the memory restrictions allows your game not to be laggy and actually performs the way your PC should be performing it. Uh, also included, um, you can do windowed mode, which is what I'm going to do just because for some reason OBS isn't trying to do game capture. So this is how I'm going to do it. And go ahead and hit next. And it says congratulations. Do not hit play GTA 4 just because <coughs> it actually will not run right. Um, so go ahead and hit exit. Once you guys got to this point, then you guys can go ahead and open up. Go to your, oh, this is GTA 5. Um, I do each of this way. Game library. Yeah, files. Okay. So once you guys got here, now you guys will see there's a whole ton more files. First thing you guys want to do is go ahead and just hit play GTA 4.
guys can see. We got we are in the game. Everything's working. If we press F7, there's the mod menu. Blah blah blah. F6. You guys can air break and fly through the buildings. You know, boop 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 boop. You guys can see. So it works. Okay, so now go ahead and hit quit. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Next, you guys want to go ahead and go to the description down below, and you guys are going to find LCPDFR or LCPD First Response Legacy Edition 1.1. Now, when you guys hit download this file, hit agree and download. Do not download the um, legacy edition. Make sure you guys go down here and you get this one right here. Go ahead and hit download. I already have it downloaded, so once you guys got it downloaded, I'm going to pull it to the desktop. Hold up a second. Let me stop. Hold on. you guys have that you guys will see that it will be just like this it'll just be a folder full of files and it's literally as easy as opening lcpd first response and then you want to go ahead and open up the gk4 directory which i done in my save goodness Once you guys are here, you guys just want to go ahead and copy, copy, and all the way over. And I'm just going to say replace the file destination with yes. Bam, you guys will go ahead and be good to go. Now you guys can either go here. You guys can run the diagnostic tool, check your installation. No installation's been found. That's fine. Go ahead and check advanced mode, check your installation, browse game folder, and then go ahead and um, go up here. Copy this up here. As you guys can see, everything is green besides this right here, which is fine. You guys can leave it to SI, to ASI loader. It's perfectly fine. And now you guys are good to go ahead and double click play GTA 4 again. And as you guys will notice, guys i want you guys in go ahead and hit alt p and as you guys will see welcome to lcpdfr and you guys will go ahead and be good to go i'm gonna go ahead and air break out of here so i don't have to go through the cut screen here and i will be coming out with more gta 5 videos i've just been a little bit behind just because i've been doing some coding classes and stuff like that trying to learn some other things trying to create my own type of game and all that so if you guys want to actually be a part of that and you guys want to help maybe develop a game or actually have knowledge on that um, hit me up on Discord. Um, I'm looking for free courses, preferably, or ones that are worth the money if I do have to spend for it. But as you guys can see, you guys walk under this arrow and not get stuck on the locker like I did. You can pick different outfits. Put on one big bubble helmet. You'll see all the vehicles and all that move and switch and all that. Now, I do have videos on my channel on how to install custom vehicles. If you guys do want to see updated guides on how to do that alongside with the uh, normal civilian vehicles, if you want to turn these to like actual realistic vehicles, um, let me know and we can get a video going for that as well. And uh, yeah, without that, w without with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video and you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.